hey guys, your exam results are vitally important, but shockingly, in a recent study, 50% of examiners disagreed on a set of exam results. Now, there is a big, big difference between grades. There is a massive difference between a D and a C, because it means you either passed, got a good pass, or you didn't get a good pass. And then there could be a massive grade between a B and an A, because it could be the difference between a college place or a university place. So your exam results are vitally, vitally important. But they're not always correct. I know, I know this is awful, but what you have to understand is that the people marking your exams are human. They are just human beings. They um, have a large, large number of exams to mark. Um, they are under a lot of pressure to do it very, very quickly. These are generally teachers who are doing it um, after work. So, you know, you go to work all day, you have to mark your, your, your normal classwork, you have to go home, dinner, um, put the kids to bed, and then you're gonna sit down and start marking exam papers. I don't mark exam papers myself because um, I don't think it pays well enough for the amount of stress and the amount of effort, the amount of time that it takes. But people do do this, um, but it doesn't pay very well. So you've got a lot of work to do, a lot of pressure, and people aren't getting paid very well for it. And because these people are human, it does mean exams, um, there are mistakes going to be creeping in. So, um, the study that I was talking about at the beginning, I'll pop a link to it down in the description. They took a load of English papers and they moderated them. So somebody marked them and then somebody checked their marking and 50% of the time they disagreed on the mark. 50% of the time. That is like a, a huge, that's, that's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Now this English that I'm talking about, um, because English and you write essays is very subjective, it's kind of like opinions, doesn't happen quite so much in maths, in science, because the answer is the answer. Um, so it's much harder to make a mistake uh, marking in those subjects. So it's going to be your essay based subjects, your history, your English, your religious studies, your, um, I don't know, French, things like that. But even in the maths and sciences, mistakes will creep in. So mistakes are going to happen. But what should you do about them? So if you're talking about A-levels and we're talking about a university place, depending on this, you need to apply for a priority remark. Now these are going to be pricey and your school may or may not apply for, um, pay for them. You need to tell your university you're applying for a priority remark as well. One of the things that the exam board's doing this year is LXL are allowing all schools to look at all exam papers on results day for free. So if you are, I mean, an Ring about um, a result, say you predicted an A and you got a C, there's quite a big difference there. Um, go and talk to your teachers, ask them if they can download the paper, stick with your teachers and go through it. Your teachers may easily be able to spot where a discrepancy in marking has come up, where they disagree with something, where they um, think you should have been given more marks, where you should have been less marks. And then they can decide whether you're applying for a remark is a good idea. Now, I said your school may pay for this, your school may not pay for this, you might have to pay for this. And it's about 35, 50 pounds per paper. Okay, that is per paper. Now, for some GCSEs, for some A levels, it is going to be more than one paper per result. So, I know for science, it's going to be three exam papers per GCSE. Of course, work on top of that as well. Um, so it's not going to be cheap applying to get these papers remarked, but if um, like a college place or a university place depends on it, it might be worth doing it. Now other things to take into account when you are deciding whether to pay the money, to put the time in, to put the effort in to get your papers remarked is do you need to get it remarked? Because um, if kind of like you want B but you're predicting A but you've got your place anyway, do you need to get the paper email? Do you really, really need your certificate to say A, even though you said B, but you've got your place anyway? So do, do you need, need, need to get it remarked? Or is it just kind of like um, an ego thing, getting it remarked? Nothing wrong with getting it remarked in that circumstance, but it might go down. Now, the other important thing to take into consideration is the grade boundaries. And you're gonna need to do a bit of research, you're gonna need to do a bit of looking into things because 
Um, if you're going to look at the numbers, you're going to look at the numbers on the university website, so the actual grade boundaries, these are generally released a few days before the exam results. And then you're going to need to work out how close you were to the grade boundary. If you were like one mark away from the next grade boundary up, then chances are they might be able to find that one mark somewhere. But you can also go down in a remark. If you are five, six, seven marks away from the grey boundary, yeah, they might not be able to find that many marks on a remark. Um, so mistakes do happen. Um, it can be worth getting your paper remarked. It cannot be worth getting your paper remarked. Um, I had a circumstance a few years ago with a student who um, predicted A's, I told her she was like a really, really solid A student and then on results day we looked at her um, the results paper and um, for B3 she had a zero. Zero. And it, they, they'd lost her paper. Um, we got the situation fixed in the end because they just gave her, well they she got for her B2 results so she got an A in the end. Um, but mistakes do happen, things do get lost so don't freak out too much, um, these things can be fixed. Um, hopefully they won't need to. Good luck guys.